We're at the Golden Nugget Sportsbook in downtown Las Vegas for the Sports Betting Spotlight Las Vegas Review Journal 32 for 32 series. 32 NFL previews in 32 days. Joined by Kelly Stewart, at Kelly in Vegas on Twitter, and Tony Miller, Golden Nugget Book Director. Kelly, good to see you. It's been a long summer. You ready for football season? God, I've been ready for football since about March. Tony, everything getting cranked up here at the Nugget for football yeah, season it was, was good. There. Preseason was good last week, so uh, we're ready to go, man. Let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. The spotlight is on the team that made probably the most remarkable turnaround in the NFL last season from 1-5 to 11-5, a 10-game winning streak, Kelly, without Jamal Charles. He went down with an injury. How did the Chiefs turn it around? Man, I, I'd like to give some more credit to Andy Reid, a little bit of credit to Alex Smith, but I'm not even sure what they did. Travis Kelsey's a beast. He came up with some big plays for them, but I, they just completely blew, I think, everybody's mind especially in the AFC West. All right, Tony, uh, Alex Smith is a quarterback. I, I kind of call him low risk, low reward because he doesn't throw the ball down the field much. He passed for a career high 3,486 yards last year, 20 TDs, seven picks. He's a guy that doesn't take a lot of chances. Uh, do you see the defense carrying the Chiefs again? And uh, what do you expect out of Alex Smith? I do, I do like the defense, but I can remember last year, Matt, when he started one and five, and we're all down on Alex Smith yeah. saying, you know, he's not going to carry this team. But he came back and played, you know, without Jamal Charles. Matt's right. Uh, but you know what? The big loss of offensive coordinator Doug Peterson to the Philadelphia Eagles. They got a new coordinator now stepping up, taking over the offense. But Matt's absolutely right. Their defense is key here. Eric Berry is the man. As long as he stays healthy and runs that defense, they'll be tough again. Don't and, and forget about Justin Houston. Justin Houston. All right, that's what we're going to talk about next. A couple questions on this defense, Kelly, because Eric Berry is unsigned, not in camp yet. Justin Houston coming back from a torn ACL, just like Jamal Charles. So the Chiefs, uh, they got some issues coming into the season. Word on, word on the street is Houston's going to make a full recovery. I know that that's what all coaches say, but that's what I've been hearing from all my friends back in Kansas City. Jamal Charles, on the other hand, I don't, I'm not hearing such uh, good things. It looks like the Chiefs fans are kind of looking for that where west combination, yeah. hoping they can pick up the slack where maybe Charles isn't able to perform like he has in years past. Tony, last year, Chiefs number three in the league in scoring defense, 17.9 points a game. Was it a fluke, or is this uh, defense for real if you get Eric Berry and Justin Houston? Oh, I, I definitely think they're for real. they got a great defense. Problem is it's a tough, tough AFC West, and, you know, it's between three teams coming down to it. But Chiefs 9.5 win total, Matt, that's pretty high. All right, so to win AFC West at the Golden Nugget, Broncos and Chiefs are both 9-5. to five. Who do you like better? Well, if it comes down to it, I like Alex Smith over Sanchez, a quarterback for the Broncos. I just don't like their situation at QB. I'll take the Chiefs and win the division. All right, the win total on the Chiefs, nine and a half. The over is uh, basically minus a buck fifty. Kelly, give us a bold prediction for the Chiefs. Bold prediction. Before I realized Tony had a juice so high, <laughs> I said this number looks way too easy, which tends to scare me sometimes. But on my on my count, Chiefs win eleven games, including possibly one against my Broncos. A right. winner's a winner. What do you care about the Jews? Lay it. That's right. For Tony Miller and uh, Kelly Stewart, that's the Sports Betting Spotlight on the Kansas City Chiefs.